Hey everyone, Monica here. Video discussion of the evening is of a case study. Sally, a 16-year-old female, has come into the office for her first visit. She has revealed the following. She has lost interest in most activities. She sleeps a lot and continues to feel tired and sometimes wishes she was no longer living. She admitted that she has had thoughts of killing herself. However, she has not attempted to do so. She also asks that her parents do not find out and has also mentioned that if her dad is informed, he will get angry with her. How would I handle this situation? First, I would reach out to a local counseling service in the area. If there is some sort of service that she can take advantage of, that's what I would suggest at first. Also speaking with a fellow school counselor, asking what other options there may be to advise. Second, my mind goes to the comment she made that her dad would be angry. This makes me wonder if there is some sort of abuse at home. I'd like to take a further look into that as well. My legal and ethical considerations are of the following. One, making sure her parents are tuned into the counseling. I understand she doesn't want them to know, but legally she is a minor. They need to be informed that she is seeing a counselor. According to the Code of Ethics B2A, serious and foreseeable harm in legal requirements states that confid confidentiality does not apply when self-harm is involved. It is advised to seek a consultation with another professional. Two, ensuring her safety. I need to make sure she is safe. My biggest concern once her parents find out is how will dad react? If there is abuse, some actions will have to be taken. Those are my first thoughts on how I would handle the situation along with my legal and ethical considerations. Thank you.